with me at the moment, I've got uh, Sean Kirkjean, who I'm going to be um, asked to uh, go through some points shortly. And I also am, um, uh, I've got Tara uh, from the sailing office, sailing manager here as well. Um, <clears throat> and I'm Sam Haynes. I'm uh, one of the directors of the CYC, in case you don't know me. And I'm also uh, the chairman currently of the sailing committee. Um, so yes, uh, I uh, just wanted to let you know, um, we've called tonight's briefing um, as we've been made aware um, of an increasing number of incidents that are taking place during the Wednesday Twilight series. And um, some of these incidents have been the product of overly aggressive behavior on the water. Uh, the Wednesday Twilights are an entry level series. Um, the spirit of intent, the, 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 they've got a, a spirit and intent of fun and enjoyable racing. And the incidents that have been occurring um, in some cases have been putting a dampener on one of our most popular series. Um, it's a great series for our regular sailors, but it's also a series which is great for new crew to be introduced to the, introduced to the sport of sailing and also enjoying our beautiful harbour. So um, the CYC, um, we understand it's a competition and winning's you know, great and, and competitive spirit's always there, but um, the risk of damage and um, injury um, are reducing the enjoyable element of the racing. And there are some common incidents which have been occurring um, and becoming more frequent and some rules which have been infringed regularly um, and so we will discuss those tonight. Um, for the information of the uh, fleet, we also would like to just um, mention that we are considering changing it to not being a point score in next year um, so that we can encourage more of a appropriate environment for beginners without it being a point score type race and the pressure of a point score. Um, one last thing is that uh, we'd like to remind you that this is a self-regulating sport and if you are in a situation where you believe rules are broken then protesting will assist this. We understand there's a reluctance to protest for Wednesdays but it may be that protesting may be something which is a requirement to be able to keep the rules maintained during these races. But with that said, um, I'd like to get Sean to go through some of the uh, pinch points where rules are being um, uh, put to the test and some of the common places where we have issues during these, this uh, series. Um, I'd also just mention that this isn't a Q&A tonight. Um, we are just um, providing a webinar, but we will have uh, a couple of rules nights coming up in the future and they'll be held in April and September. And we would appreciate and encourage that everyone would attend those rules nights. So after that introduction, um, and thank you for attendance, everyone, um, I'm going to pass you on to um, Sean. My phone rings just at the wrong time. Um, to I'll pass you on to Sean to go through a few things that we uh, would like to discuss as far as uh, particular areas of the course. So here's Sean Kirchin. Thank you. Good evening, one and all. Um, I'm just sort of helping out here in the situation that there are quite a bit, few incidents that are happening on the track. I'm not going to go and explain every rule tonight. There's no point in that. We all understand, most of us understand what the rules are. The biggest issue that we have is various sizes and speeds of boats. So I want you to remember that in the sense if you're in a small heavy boat, you're going to be a lot slower, a lot less manoeuvrable than you are in something that's very light and uh, got a lot of sail area. So what we're all about is avoiding incidents, crashes and the like. Obviously, none of us want our insurance premiums to go up. So that's why we're, we're really here. That and having fun on the water. I always say to people when you go sailing, the first thing that you want to do is get out there. Don't hurt anyone, don't break your boat, have a good time, and then win from there. So they're the four things to think when you're sailing on a twilight race. Now, 
rules that were happening. We got nor'easters and we got southerlies. They're generally the two major races that we, wind conditions that we sail in. Of that, the nor'easter, we have a lot of people barging on the start boat. So people must know that uh, you can't just come reaching in, sailing down and around the committee boat, trying to start. There are a lot of people getting in there early, trying to establish position. And then you'll find someone coming in late with a lot of speed out of Double Bay. And when they get there, suddenly there's nowhere to go for them. So you've got to think about the level of, of your competition, some of the people you sail with and against. Are they capable of getting out of your road in that time frame? Again, it's all about introducing people to the sport and uh, racing at you know, not, a, not a level that's America's Cup, if you get what I'm drifting at, but uh, a level that is everyone's capable to sail to. Another example of that is when you're sailing into rocks. There's rocks ahead of you and you know you need to tack to get out of there. Bradley's Head might be the place on a nor'easter start. So when you call for water, you've got to give the guy room and opportunity to do so. And in a twilight race, some people have a lot of crew on their boats who don't know what they're doing. They've just come from the office to go sailing and they've got to get them from one side of the boat to the other. So again, it's a matter of giving people time to keep clear. Uh, if I progress up the course, we go around our marks to the north and we run back and we have to go around Steel Point. Obviously, there are rocks there. So we're thinking about starboard and port. And uh, if you're jibing, from port on to starboard, which gives you right away, are you giving the guy who's just to your right-hand side, are you giving them enough time to jibe as well? It's always just thinking about giving people room and opportunity to keep clear. If you do that, you'll keep yourself pretty well out of trouble in point scores and most races. Um, Southerlies, boy room is quite often the, the big one that comes up, especially when we're going around the uh, YA boys all around the track. The, what you've got to consider there is the distance from the mark. Do you have room? Do you not? If you don't know or you think it's close, it's better to sit there and assume that you didn't have the overlap and just let the other boat go through. And I'm talking about the boat that was in front, not the boat that was behind. Um, now, penalty turns. Penalty turns are a good thing. They're in the, in the sailing instructions. If you think you've infringed, well, then go ahead and do two turns. But don't do them right at the start line. Try and get clear of people and do it there. So you're not doing circles in front of other people who are trying to get past you. I've seen uh, many incidents over the years in twilight races. The one that always bugs me is when you're running downwind and you're coming upwind, you've got right away. You've got to think about the rigs because your hull can be, you know, half a boat length away from the other hull but the rigs can often come together. And I think we actually had one, a good one earlier this year. But um, there's many, many times where I've yelled at people to look up as they're sailing past, past each other. In a nutshell, that's it. Remember, you're out there to have a good time. Remember those four things I said at the beginning and uh, they'll get you around the track pretty well. It's all about having fun. I'll pass back to Chairman of the Sailing Committee. Thanks, John. Okay, everyone, um, thank you very much for joining us. And uh, I mean, I think the gist of what we're saying and what Sean's just pointed out there is um, fair sailing, giving people plenty of room, giving opportunity, communicating nicely between the boats so that uh, manoeuvres aren't rushed or in, uh, putting people in danger and observing um, a, a more sort of courteous environment to run these races. Um, I do appreciate that most the vast majority of uh, the competitors are, are, are racing for many years in these races and doing an extremely good job of not getting in, into problems. Um, but, um, you know, occasionally we are running into perhaps uh, more conflicts than we uh, normally would. So, yeah, thank you very much uh, for joining. Hopefully we get some uh, nice clean races and everyone enjoys their sailing on Wednesdays. And, um, uh, yeah, enjoy this uh, tomorrow's race. So thanks very much. And uh, also, yeah, I've just uh, been reminded to you know that there will be a recording of this and it's available to the other, uh, anyone that misses and um, it'll be up online tomorrow. So see you later. Thank you.